up guys, Paramoto here. How are you guys doing today? Today, I am doing just fantastic. I'm out here again enjoying a beautiful North Carolina afternoon. 77 on the bike's thermometer right now. That is something else. I don't think that's 100% accurate. I think it's because I was sitting there, so it's kind of heated up. But 70 plus degrees in the middle of December. Man, you can't ask for anything better. Look at all this Christmas stuff around. It is 70 plus degrees. What an awesome day. I'm about to get lost as last year's Easter eggs back in this freaking suburbia hell. Name the movie. Name of the movie. That was from Gone in 60 Seconds. That's where that was from. It is not the first time on this channel that I have gotten lost in this exact neighborhood. No worries. You guys don't hear from me for a while. It's because I'm still back here just aimlessly riding around that's just trying to find my way out. So guys, I know that I am known for being a mostly positive motor vlogger and everything like that. And I'm going to keep that reputation alive today. But the topic that I want to talk about today, guys, is the thing that annoys me the most about the motorcycle community. And don't watch this. I'm going to spin it positive. Don't you worry. So guys, one of the absolute things that annoys me the absolute most has got to be the general negativity that happens in this community. And like, it's not terrible all the time, but there's a lot of judgment and negativity based on what people ride, what what gear people ride with, you know, how people ride. There's a lot of generalized negativity. And I'll be totally honest with you, I've been one of those people that, that rag on, on certain riders, <coughs> Harleys, <coughs> But um, honestly, I try not to nowadays. I really do. I think I've matured and I've become a better person. As a community, we tend to judge other people. We really do. Um, we tend to judge, you know, Harleys versus sport bikes. You know, European versus Japanese. Like we're always judging things. When we should just be like riding and enjoying ourselves, you know? I'll be totally honest with you guys. At one point in my riding career, I used to take very, I used to love messing with Harley riders. I'll be totally honest with you. I used to love it. Oh man, there were times when there'd be Harley riders literally riding in a group five to ten miles an hour under the speed limit and I would I would cut straight up the middle of them just because I got so sick of Harley riders going ten under the speed limit in the fast lane on the freeway when I had places to be. Like, you know, like, sorry guys, I'm not always the most responsible rider. You guys see me at my most responsible on this channel. It's downhill from here. <laughs> but that's one thing that I used to do. I used to enjoy cutting straight up the middle. And that's extraordinarily unsafe. And honestly, I was not being a good ambassador for sport bikes. <laughs> there was probably a lot of hate cultivated when I used to do that. But, I mean, it is what it is. Now, I, I've stopped doing that. I've grown as a rider. And it's like, honestly, it is what it is at this point. If, if Harley riders want to go really slow on the freeway, that's prerogative. You go as slow as you want big Harley Land Pirate guys. The things that I see a lot of hate between the sport bike community is what bikes you ride and uh, honestly what gear you ride to be totally honest with you. So there seems to almost be a rift like between uh, European riders and Japanese riders. You know like the European riders, the BMW, the Ducati, the KTM guys are always kind of giving ish to um, you know, the Japanese riders, and really there's nothing wrong with riding Japanese bikes. I have a Japanese bike, my girlfriend has a Japanese bike. Honestly, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. Like, the bikes will last you forever, you know, you can mod them on the cheap, you can fix them on the cheap, there's nothing wrong with a Japanese bike. You know, but it's, I feel like a lot of European riders, and I don't do this at all, but a lot of European riders like to down their nose at the person riding the CBR or the Ninja. And to be honest with you, I don't think it's cool. I don't think it's cool at all. You know, I think we're all riders and we need to, you know, not only, you know, support one another, you know, if you're on two wheels, you're part of the family. I'll even extend that to scooters at times, you know, and uh, to be honest with you, I think we need to like kind of stop it. I think we need to come together as a community rather than brag on each other all the time. Unless it's like gentle ribbing that you would do between friends, that's totally fine. But I also see a lot of people ripping into each other for the gear that they ride and wear. You know, like, I'll be totally honest with you. I'm, I'm a jean squid, as Cycle Cruiser says. You know, I ride a helmet, a jacket, and gloves all the time, every time. But, you know, I, I'm soft on the bottom. Like, I always, I never wear, I literally never wear any hard shell. Um, 
on my legs and it's wrong that is wrong but i just don't have anything i've found that was comfortable enough to wear every day it's honestly quite hard to ride hard shell on the bottoms when you're like doing things like stopping for groceries going to the gym and stuff like the generalized stuff that i do a lot of is generally just doing that kind of things and i don't know like i've never found it found it easy to do that 72 72 on december 16th this is fantastic. You know, honestly, I just wanted to make a short little video about this and just kind of encourage everybody to just relax and enjoy the ride. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. That's why we do this. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Like, there's no reason to throw shade at one another. There's no reason to, to make somebody else feel bad about the decisions that they like to make when they're out here riding. I mean, if you would like to come out here looking like a damn Power Ranger, come out here looking like a damn Power Ranger. I don't care. If you'd like to be a land pirate, be a land pirate, but I'm gonna call you a land pirate. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't think there's anything wrong with riding the way that you like to ride. And uh, you know, that goes that goes for everything. Like riding the way you like to ride, wearing what you like to wear when you ride, um, riding the way you like to ride. Like just, just do it. Just do it and have fun. And there, there's no reason why we need to continually hate on each other the way that we do as a community. That lady was eyeballing me hard. That's all about the sport bikes, man. Anytime somebody sees a sport bike, they're just like, ugh, ugh, sport bike. Going double the speed limit. No, I'm not. I was actually going five under because of this guy. I would probably be going double the speed limit if it wasn't for this slow person. This really slow person in front of me. So today, guys, I just wanted to, to talk to you guys and just try to just instill some positivity, you know? That's what this channel was really founded on, is just instilling positivity and bringing positivity back to the motor vlogging community and, you know, stopping the hate. Stopping the hate, I think, is a good thing to say between us riders, you know? Like, it doesn't matter what you ride. Just have fun. Just have fun, right? That's, that's all it's about. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go enjoy my ride. I'm going to probably go really fast in some country roads and I don't feel like implicating myself in any sort of traffic felonies. So this has been a Paramoto production. I appreciate you guys watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Deuces.